Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can have your students make a 3D constellation. In this activity, students are going to pick a constellation. I have the Big Dipper here, or Ursa Major, as an example, and um, I have two different versions. So if you teach older students, um, you can give them the version that's blank, and they can go online. Stellarium.org is a great website to use to look up each of the stars and how many light years away they are from Earth. Um, if you have SPED students, or maybe you teach middle school and you'd rather just give the students the numbers, then this version is available as well. So I'm gonna use this one as a demo. So you're going to need a constellation, um, a shoe box or any sort of cardboard box, and then some type of foam down below. So this is just a piece of styrofoam. You can also get uh, floral foam at the dollar store. It's like two for a dollar. Um, that is you could cut and stick down below and then for the stars we're going to use spaghetti and marshmallows students may not know that even though constellations to the naked eye the stars look the same distance from us they could actually be very 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 far apart so in this constellation and um, we have stars that range from like 79 light years away from earth all the way to 122 light years so they're going to be measuring um, how far back from earth if the front of the box or the foam is where earth is how far away um, would they put the star with the spaghetti and marshmallow? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this down just so it fits in the back of the box. Let's try that. Okay, and then I cut a little off the bottom too. I'm going to put a little bit of tape rolls on the back just so I can stick it to the back of the box. I'm going to leave those handy. And before I tape it and get everything measured, I'm going to take my spaghetti and I'm going to have students lay it out and break the spaghetti at the proper length. So they do that first and don't have to worry about later. So uh, put the spaghetti at the top of the first star and then down at the bottom of the paper, I'm gonna rip it off. I can actually probably reuse this one, perfect. Okay, here's another one. Perfect. a little too short. All right, so I have my spaghetti and now students are going to need to figure out uh, how far back or how am I going to measure where they're going to go in the styrofoam. If you teach older grades, you can probably have the students figure out um, a mathematical way on their own to figure out the measurements using dimensional analysis. For younger grades, I would just tell the students how to do it. So I would say that for every one centimeter, it's going to represent 10 light years. So this first star, if I look at it, it's 103 light years away from Earth. Then that would be 10.3 or just hop the decimal over one to the left. 10.3 centimeters I would measure back from the front of the foam. Okay, so I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to tape it to the back of the box. Okay, and then I have my spaghetti all laid out in order. So here is the first star and like we said, 103 light years is gonna be 10.3 centimeters back from the front of the styrofoam. So 10.3. And then they're really gonna need to get down eye level to make sure that they're lining everything up correctly. Um, so 10.3 is right here. And I'm gonna stick it down in the foam. Okay, and they're gonna go ahead and continue doing that for the rest of the stars. Ok, 
Okay, once you have all of your spaghetti there, so it's lined up with the stars, then you can take your marshmallows and just stick them right on top. So here's the front view. You can see that the marshmallows line up with the stars, but as we go to the top, then students can see that they're not all the same distance from Earth. If you want student directions and constellation templates, you can check them out at the link in the description. And if you want more videos like this, be sure to hit subscribe.